hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here highly welcome my name is Ramatu as you seen by the title tool and the thumbnail so today also is a chit chat video okay so I'll be talking about various things and give you guys some tips how to navigate your life around the work and your personal life okay now you guys this is the part two of this video so if you didn't watch the first video please check it out I'll leave it up Okay, now this one is not for me because I never do that. Learn to communicate. Learn to communicate with your colleagues or your employer. When you are overstressed, when things are overwhelming for you, learn to communicate that, oh my God, this is up to here. I cannot take it anymore. My nase is full. My cup is full. I can't do this. This is my limit point. I can't do this. I've never done that. My dear, I mean, a place that me an apprentice, I can't i don't have the right to say no i can't <laughs> even if they are packing thousands of books on top of my head they are stepping on my less than nerves i can't say i can't do it that's one disadvantage i have now but we'll talk about that in the future by expressing your um workload or being overwhelmed will help you to receive support and adjust to the workload that leads to the first part to share responsibility reporting that um, i cannot do this to say okay this work that is meant for only you they can share it with another person by delegating it so it is very very good to express yourself or communicate to your employer or, or, or colleagues that i can't do this you cannot die because of that Ramatu. i'm talking to you now the other point is that organize and plan keep your work organized and plan and set clear goals realistic goals have a routine if you set a clear goal and have plan and organize things it will be very very simple for you you will not have overwhelmingness or be overwhelmed overload or being stressed out create a to-do list and have a structural plan how to routine your life so that work can be easy for you maintain a healthy lifestyle that is our next point prioritize a healthy lifestyle eating good having good time having time for you to exercise have adequate sleep in time to sleep well that is literally what it means these things i've listed can literally help you your ability to minimize stress and help you to handle stress properly create hobbies and interests learn to find things that makes you happy for you not to be too stressed when it comes to work and your personal life after work find time to go to the gym or find time for you to do your meditation at home or your yoga like for me i was not doing that back home because i didn't have the time in fact i was never never worked in my life when i was back home it's only when i came here so recently i've tried to do how they, how they call it incorporate um exercise be having a hobby apart from cooking because my only hobby back then was just cooking and eating and watching movies now i have my treadmill back there i would normally walk for like 10 minutes because i don't walk outside yes i don't walk out i have a song i i don't have anywhere to leave him so i have my treadmill at home i will just open the door it's the same the same experience the only thing is that i don't see bushes i'll just play music i will walk on this treadmill like 10 minutes and then come here and stretch my backs because i'll be living with constant pain on my back sorry guys i've been living with pain so i normally do exercise 20 minutes before I go to bed and i normally go for physiotherapy i know maybe that is not part of exercise but it is very very good for me and 20 minutes for this physiotherapy and i'll come back home feeling refreshed even though the pain will just go away for a day and come back it is also stressful have a positive mindset having a positive mindset will help you be grateful about everything that is happening in your work life like any simple things you do will be so positive that it will lead to success that's literally what i mean to find the silver lining in in challenging situations okay learn to say no learn to say no i don't know how to say it Ramatu. for you and them learn to say no if you cannot do certain things it is not in your ability to do certain stuff and they delegate things to you to be done if you can't do it 
don't lie don't overdo things say no i can't but find a civilized way to put it so they will not get hot don't overcommit yourself and, and later be stressed for things that you can't do seek support talk to friends family and loved ones people that you trust because sometimes it can be so so overwhelming that you can't handle things yourself your head is so small that you can't integrate everything into yourself that i can solve this problem because sometimes we don't have sense sometimes we need someone to actually step in and we generate some sense inside us me sometimes i normally think that i have sense but sometimes i don't and it is true this is very important this is my second to last point learn to take breaks pause learn to take breaks to go and reset your mind to sit back and just regenerate yourself your thinking your mindset taking break it is so so important there is a reason why they make pause it is so so important for you to go and eat and eating it help i know you talk about eating breaks does not just mean to go and eat it's to go and relax your mind and come back to clear your mind and come back to face the, the, the situation at hand okay and my second to last point plan vacation take vacation find time for you to travel out to friends family or new location for you to go and refresh your mind your mindset your thinking to relax yourself have good time before coming back because let me tell you working as an adult it's not easy not to talk about you being a foreign place even if you don't find yourself in the diaspora i'm talking to everyone that is working it is so so stressful being a student and working is stressful being a mom and working is stressful being a foreigner working in a foreign country it is actually stressful so you have to take breaks or vacation sometimes plan holiday and go out i'm also talking about myself i always love traveling even if this it is the same country i'm in that is break to just go and refresh my mind and be in confidence that i can do certain stuff because sometimes it is so overwhelming that if i don't get out of this place i will go crazy and the last point is that you have to seek a professional help if you notice that your work load or work stress has been so so stressful that you cannot really, really handle it to be honest you are so overloaded and it is affecting your mental health i think you need to seek professional help because talking to professionals can really really help you to come back and being refreshed i think your mental health and physical health is the most important thing with all this point i've said is that if you don't have these two health you can't make it outside in the outside world everyone will feel it when you are going through it that's the only thing i can say your family will feel it your son or your daughter will feel it your work your, your colleagues will feel it if you are actually going through something so make sure your health comes first it is just simple like me i'm going through it while working there are so many things i have to cancel starting from this month that i can't do this it is causing damage to my physical health even as much as i want this money i want to achieve so many things but because of physically i am not okay mentally i am stressed during the night i only think about this work and the shouting and the intimidation my dear i know they can kill me safe I they quit anything me Rama will not bring peace to me any relationship workshop picking ship are the counselor that's it I am not selfish I just take my mental and physical health special I just take them important that's as simple as that because if i can't function well any everything around me will never function well that's just it okay i am um, self-opposite i give more but whenever i'm not receiving more i have my limit 
so you guys this is it for this video thank you so so much for watching i'll see you guys on my next video thank you so so much for staying out with me i really really love chatting with you guys so before you leave if you watch till the end you guys we are getting to 2k subscribers please support your call by subscribing sharing liking and also commenting i love when people comment on my videos but you guys i don't know if you know the shame when i left for shame to type anything ask me questions i will get idea for making videos tell me who's had a lack on tell me who's have for do more videos tell me what you want to see about this channel because i'm here for you guys okay so i'll see you guys on my next video thank you so so much for staying out with me throughout this video i love you guys stay positive always stay generous to everyone till next time i'll see you guys on my next video ciao ciao i love you guys